participate. Uh, my, <laughs> our colleague accuses us of t deep thinking, <laughs> so suggesting that we, you know, some of these things should be just uh, fixed at the right place. But You're overbreeding it. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I think that the, there are major issues about the police service, and I don't think that the uniform is, is the main issue about the police service. Is it possible to reform or even change the trajectory of an institution? It is. Remember that the National uh, Security Intelligence Service was, was previously, in fact, part of the police force. It was, it was a special branch. Mm. And uh, back in the mid to late 90s, a, a significant reform to transform it into a civilian uh, intelligence service. Um, and what you saw with that change is, in fact, a drop in uh, in uh, police uh, um, uh, shall I say call it brutality but a, a drop in the use of police particularly for political purposes because the new intelligence service was not arresting people in the in the in the 90s and going backwards uh, and intelligence in sometimes is is, is, is uh, you know Bondara in gossip, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what would happen is that uh, they would take preemptive action. I mean, there is yeah. so they they have been known to go to bars where Kenyans are enjoying their drink and arrest them because they are engaged in political talk. Now, to change and to re get out of those kinds of outcomes required a reform that was to turn then the intelligence service into a civilian intelligence service, and I, I would personally believe that that was very, very successful. So, uh, to me, I mean, I don't think we should really... It's, okay. it's wrong for the nation to be doing this sort of thing. We know the police service requires a lot of work about how the officers perceive what mm -hmm. their work is. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, the, the, although the Constitution creates the police service as an independent organization, uh, it doesn't seem capable of withstanding political manipulation and political pressure. Those are the things we should be dealing with. I <coughs> agree with Bunyasi that the uniform of an organization should reflect something about our ethos and so on, but I cannot, in all honesty, uh, say that uh, the shade of blue mm -hmm. is the most important uh, police reform required. It is very boring. <laughs> <laughs> it should be better use of it. Or blue at all. Or, 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 or blue, blue at all. all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should maintain blue. We shouldn't go to, uh, I think, uh, the black uh, uniforms I've seen. Something was tickling me while you're actually speaking because uh, my colleague Mama Kim also is giving her comments here on the feedback and she was saying, you know, you shut your police. They, it needs to be slim fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want policemen who are fat. <laughs> I think we missed our own. You look at that. Uh, uh, yeah, we need, we need, it needs to be slim fit. If uh, Elod Kinude is listening as well, there is, it should be slim fit uh, uh, a police uniform as well. I but think we should enforce a BMI standard. Yeah, uh, BMI see. standard for the police. Yes. <laughs> 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 but you see, it's always, it's always a, down, it's a, it's a downhill thing. What, you know, at recruitment. You know, those yes. things are looked at, you know, and yes, uh, you know, they, when you look at a, recruit, at a police officer when they recruited, or even in the disciplined forces, you find they, they meet exactly what you're talking about. Yes. But after that, once you're in, <laughs> you it's said downhill. <laughs> but, downhill. But what is with the dental, dental formula, especially with the KDF recruitment? I've never really un understood. Why do they check my, the, the, if my teeth is really aligned or not, or widely spaced? I, I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I, 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 uh, Lieutenant General Mwangi. Huh? Uh, Lieutenant General Mwangi was uh, on uh, JFK show one day and he was asked that question. Uh -huh. Oh, he said something about um, that, the, that when you have brown teeth, for example, or gaps, uh -huh. uh, natu even natural gaps with the, the teeth, they indicate areas of weakness. Uh -huh. And that uh, at a critical moment when you are in combat or, or you know, you should concentrate. <laughs> I, I, I was amazed. I, I thought the explanation would be philosophical, but this clinical explanation <laughs> just <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> So chances of us actually getting hit because of a dental, a dental formula which is misaligned. In my culture, uh, particularly for women uh, with a natural gap,
uh, the top of the top uh, <laughs> collection yeah. of tea. It's supposed to be a beauty. Uh, oh yes, yeah. of extraordinary value. Now this guy can't just uh, 